Great. Good evening. Um, any of you who don't know me, although most all of you do, but I'm the pastor of the Willow Creek Community Church that's about 11 miles northwest of Vail. And <clears throat> the paintings that are on display in the other room have been taken out of the walls of the Willow Creek Community Church. And uh, some of the information that you can find around the, the room uh, talks about the artist and uh, share a little bit here about, about the artist who was Frederick H. Klumper. He was born September 14, 1910 to Bernard and Emma Klumper of Covington, Kenton County, Kentucky. He was the youngest of six children and only attended school through the seventh grade. At the age of 25, he joined the Civilian Conservation Corps, which was formed to help put men and boys to work. The average age of an enrollee was 18 or 19 years, but in the early days, there was nothing for work and President Roosevelt wanted people working and so many of the young men were starving and this gave them an opportunity to work and they had, they had to send money home to their families so that they could live too. Frederick Klumper was first sent to Montana to work in the forest and they were called Roosevelt's Tree Army. He fought fires, planted trees. In 1936 he was sent to the CC did I get enough C's? The Civilian Conservation Corps camp in Malheur County on 7th Avenue. <clears throat> Their jobs mainly were to service the trucks and pickups in the Corps, but they also built ditches for irrigation, poured cement drops for the irrigation ditches, and whatever they needed to do. They were called soul soldiers. Soil soldiers. Did I say that right? <clears throat> Sorry. Soil soldiers here now. During this time, Frederick would find oil paint and draw oil sketches on the walls. Um, and uh, <clears throat> about uh, 30 years ago, the uh, some of the the uh, boys who are now not quite boys anymore. They were elderly men. They, they would return to uh, the Vale area and they'd have a reunion there. And uh, <clears throat> after the reunion, they'd call me and they'd say, well, we wanted to go out and see the paintings on the walls of the, that are in your church. And, uh, and so finally, um, about 30 years ago, um, when we were opening up a door, a doorway, we cut one chunk out and uh, one of the men took some of the boards from it and framed it. And so we've had that hanging on the wall for 30 some years. But anyway, at their last reunion, um, we were able to, they were meeting in, in at the Pioneer Place nursing home with Barbara Masterson. And so I was able to take that picture in and they were thrilled to be able to see uh, at least a, a sampling of what the, uh, Frederick had done on the walls while they were there. Um, when you look at these drawings, you will feel that the paintings um, what, and what he remembers of home and of his travels into the CCC camps. They've been preserved all these years, hidden behind, uh, way behind the walls of what now is the Willow Creek Community Church. Uh, as you walk around looking at these murals, just think of what these walls are telling you of the life and times of Mr. Klumper. There are more of these beautiful murals still hidden behind the walls uh, in the church that someday will probably re be revealed for the world to see and appreciate. I am sh am sure that he never in his wildest dreams thought that one day his work and labor of love would come to life in a church or be shown in an art gallery. Now he is truly an artist. Don't you wonder just how many other artists we have hidden behind the walls of leftover CCC buildings. You just never know what walls 
will be telling us. Uh, <clears throat> Fred left the CCC camp and went back to Kentucky and worked as a painter. In the spring of 1941, he enlisted in the Army and served as in uh, World War II as a private. He later was reported missing in action, but when he was found and returned home, his remains were buried in the Mother of God Cemetery in Kenton Vale, Kenton County, Kentucky. He is listed on the Kenton County Veterans Memorial uh, engraved in granite. His memory lives on. And you can notice one of the plaques in the, uh, in the other room there on the wall that has his uh, tombstone and uh, gives uh, that information. So that's what I... Francis prepared most of this, and thank you. Um, but he was buried in Texas, and then his family had him brought back, and the government had him brought back and put into the uh, Mother of God uh, Cemetery. And so there was a little bit of a gray area as for what they classify as missing in action and what really actually but he he worked on anti-carrier so he evidently worked with planes and that sort of thing so he was how old he was uh well he was 25 when he enlisted uh, in the cc camp so he was there two years and i i think he went to california from from our area, he went to another camp in California. From there, then he went home. So then he enlisted in 41. So if he was, he was, if he was born in 1910, that made him 31. 31. Just short of being mm -hmm. 31. Yeah, yeah. But he never married. Uh, his uh, family. Uh, we we we. Brandon did a little more research too on family with the ancestry type thing, and there we think that there are two living fam family members. But we're you know it would be wonderful to be able to send what we have information to that family to know that he really truly did become what he wanted to do. That's great. But um, it's an interesting. It, it was, I, I got started, it was like I couldn't quit. It was like a, a phobia with me. And I, I, <laughs> I did, um, the Malheur Enterprise has some wonderful archives from 1935 about a lot of the CC camps. And I will, um, I have oodles of information. And I, I would be glad to share that with, with Gary and Dr. Daniels and, and, and so that you can have it to, uh, to look back on because there's, there's just lots. Of, we, had, we had more camps than I ever dreamt in our local area. So, and there were, I think there were four or five from the Vale area that served in CC camps. And, and I think one of them was Barbara Masterson's dad. But I'm not real sure because I can't remember. If I'd known, I would have brought my file. <laughs> but I didn't. So, but it, it was an interesting experience. And I, I thoroughly enjoyed doing it. And I, every once in a while, I go looking to see if there isn't more. <laughs> Do his uh, remaining relatives know that these paintings? No. They do not. They do not. No, we've uh, we just have not been able to to find anyone um, that that's related. You know, it's it's like there's a, a wall there, and Brandon can you know verify. We just can't seem to. There was a couple of telephone numbers. He was able to do that, but. It was always they were just the phones were disconnected and and or something so 
And Brandon can answer a lot of questions too. He, he kind of did some after I turned it over to Matt, then he, Brandon kind of helped with this experience. It'd be interesting to see what else is in there. Yes, yes. And one day I'm sure that we'll get the itch to do it and we'll find him. <laughs> big job. It's a, yeah, it's a big job, but. Well, are they, are they behind paneling? Yes. They are. They're so behind they plasterboard. Uh, well, it's um, whatever you call that. Drywall. Drywall. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. They were drywall, and what we we were we were remodeling. We wanted to insulate, and so when we took the drywall off, then uh, Kim and Tom and Marvin, oh, here <laughs> we are. <laughs> So, yeah, and, and, and the church knew that there were some, but we had no idea that the whole church was done in wow. these paintings. Well, if he Are was there a long time, he probably didn't have anything but time on his hands. Well, but you know, these kids, you know, there wasn't a lot for them to do, and if he, if he didn't uh, party or... Uh, and those kids not only worked, but they had classes. They 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 learned a skill while they were in there. They had libraries that they could go for books. Um, they they became teachers and and all kinds of occupational things that that um, that taught them because they had no, nothing, and all they had was time. But they had. Roosevelt gave them everything there was to work with, and and that that is something that um, we could use that again to put kids to work, people to work, and teach them how to work. Hmm? I said I wouldn't have walked from Willow Creek to Vail no. one night. Well, most of these, uh, the, the interesting thing is these 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 men. Um, because they had trucks and they were in a motor pool, they, they would go in a whole truckload of them. They would go to the movies and in some of the articles in the newspaper, it talks about how they would go to uh, the movies and they were, the girls liked them, they were polite, they went to dances. Um, and, and there was one boy from this group that had been killed in a, uh, he had fell off of the truck and unbeknown to him, someone had run over him. And so he, that was, there weren't a lot of casualties, but, but that's just, you know, some of the things that I, I found in newspaper articles in, from the Enterprise. And, and the Enterprise was really up to, to date with what was going on with all the CC camps in the areas. And, and they, well, these many boys were from wherever. And there is, I have a list of where a lot of them were from, their denominations, um, some of them where they've lived, uh, not necessarily names, but of um, their religious background. And, uh, and so, you know, uh, if you've got time on your hands, so to speak, I mean, you just don't go to town every evening. <laughs> and you're tired, but yet you want something to do. Well, there was a, on Channel 4, there was a, a, quite a, a program on the CCC camps. That's what you got found out there on that film. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so, but I didn't, I must have missed that part about Willow Creek. That probably was not in that. I don't recall that. It no, was. because um, Oregon, this this film was done, it basically um, the, the forestry department uh, sponsored this film, I do believe, if I'm right. And, and uh, they, ba they centered more uh, around the Portland area with uh, conservation and trees and replanting the forest 
and that sort of thing. So um, that I think is why. Uh, but yeah, it was um, it was um, it was on I think a couple of different times. Mm -hmm. You can correct me if I'm wrong. What? I believe the, the building that those paintings were recovered for was originally located in Vail, but then moved. No. 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 It was. It was. It was actually built out there. That whole complex was built out on which is, who now lives is Clifford Cook's ranch, and and then then later was moved to where our church is at now, right? And, yeah. And there's a, quite a number of houses around. The oh community yeah. That, that are part work. Oh yes. Part of one of those yeah. Buildings, yep. Mm -hmm. so oh yeah. Any other paintings that they found in any of those buildings? Well, we don't. We don't know. I don't. Uh, oh, I would think. I would think that they would have, but you know, uh, in those days, you added on, you know, like the the uh, migrant camps when they were disbanded. People would take them and use them for sheds or add on to their house or whatever they needed to do to make extra housing. And that is, our whole area was built on that. With lots of those buildings like that. Creating people. Yep. What is your name? My name? I'm Frances Rempel. Rempel? Mm hmm. And are you a historian? No. <laughs> I used to be a dairy farmer's wife. <laughs> oh, I had to go to work for a living. <laughs> but no. It, it, are, there it, any, that, are there any plans with uh, murals that you've got here, uh, what you're going to do with them? Well, that we that we need to discuss. You know, our church needs to decide what we what we can do with them. Now, the the uh, the Oregon Forestry Department is building a new new complex for um, the history of CC camps mm -hmm. and what they can find for artifacts and that sort of thing. So, we have you know, it has a possibility. Of, of being preserved, those those paintings out there are, are such fine, uh, fine material that you can't be messing with them, because Brandon had those all cleaned, every all around them were cleaned, and now just in the last few hours, you can see those fibers from that wood has is deteriorate. Yeah, it's just like a sawdust, and so whatever we do, we have to be very very careful with them. Yeah. And I think it would be nice if they were put someplace for everyone to see eventually. But I'm just one person. I don't. <laughs> I like to preserve that type of thing. Has anybody contacted the Oregon Historical Society to ask about preservation of those? Not that I know of. Have you, Roy? Nothing. <laughs> well, there is there 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 is a there is a film that they can coat over those to keep them from shedding, and and that I think if like if the forestry department were to take those and put those in a building in that type of an atmosphere, then they would do something like that with them. But you know, it's 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 kind of a costly thing. I think you know um, would have been nice to have these framed, but the cost incurred with framing would have been really really expensive. And it's very you just touching them. It's kind of neat to see them like this, though, mm -hmm. all cut up and kind of mm -hmm. like, like it was in the you know original mm -hmm. yeah. stain. Yeah, uh, I think so. I think so. The picture of the camp that we have didn't make it in with these. Hmm? The picture of the camp that we had that came. There's a picture on That's the on the wall. Okay, it's yeah. Mm -hmm. I must have done. Yeah. Um, um, several plaques around here. 
Yeah. 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 Kelly Wiedemann had a picture That's of what our I'm camp. Of. It's out there. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay. mm -hmm. Yeah, she dropped off a higher quality scan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It it's been hard, you know, to find people. I mean everybody's has died or is so old they can't remember. Now we have a lady in our church that remembers as a child that camp. But that's as far as it kinda goes, you know. So it it's not an easy thing to find the history of it and Well, we're honored to have it here. Thank you. It's, I, I, I'm glad to see it finally happen. <laughs> we've all been we've all been waiting, and people have asked, you know, when is it? When is it? So it's nice that it has happened.